what we did is we exposed lobsters to two different pHs. So a pH that they're experiencing now in their natural environment and a pH that we might expect um, at the end of the century. I'm sure you've heard of ocean acidification, right? So basically an increasing acidity in the ocean's pH. And so what we're concerned about is what that could mean potentially for our lobster populations in the state of Maine and what that might mean long term for our populations. Animals like lobsters that don't create their own heat. So their metabolism and all of those things are regulated by their external environment. So when we put them in this temperature ramping study, which slowly increases temperature over time, their heart rate starts to increase. I guess this could be likened to if you put humans on a treadmill, right, and they're running, and the humans that were exposed to the more acidic conditions, they would fall off the treadmill from exhaustion a little bit sooner, right, than, than those that were exposed to the, the normal conditions. What we're showing is that maybe when they encounter some kind of subsequent stress event, like maybe it might be increasing ocean temperatures, right, or it might be they've, they've encountered some kind of pathogen, um, that they may have sort of this compounded stress event and they may be at a disadvantage in that regard. The Gulf of Maine, uh, the temperature is increasing at a rate faster than 99% of the world's global oceans. So we are a hotspot for climate change, and so not a lot of people know that. And so our animals could be a little bit more vulnerable than, than potentially others. What we're saying is sort of like when people get run down, they're more vulnerable to colds and things like that. So it doesn't necessarily mean this is, this is sort of a fait incomplete. This is definitely what's going to happen. But we need to be more aware that if they are a little bit more vulnerable, then we need to be more aware, you know, and watching, and watching what will happen. Thank you.